All right, so this is an example of uh, using some mastic to create a, a mold of the fingerprint and a little bit of latex to make the actual mold uh, from the impression. Uh, so iPhone 5S, you can see it's locked. Uh, let's see if we can get lucky here. Nope, try again. Ah! Usually takes me a few times to actually get this thing to work right. It's always fun when doing it for the camera. <laughs> and there it is. Right through. Let's see if I can do it again. It's locked. Try again. And there it is. Too easy. So, it took about 10 molds, but uh, out of all of them, it comes together pretty nicely. Thanks. All right, so this is an add-on video to go with the um, circumvent for the iPhone 5S Touch ID. Um, I know I'm going to get the question on how did I make it. So basically used a couple things. Here's uh, an actual video of the mold. Here's an example of one that actually has the latex in it. And there's the actual fingerprint. And if you can pull that fingerprint off the video and actually use it, more power to you. In any case, so I'm using just a bunch of stuff that came from a craft store. These two products called uh, Mastic Extraordinary. Basically, you mix these two together, and it makes this rubber compound. Uh, and you get about a couple minutes to actually be able to make the mold. And I basically just mashed my finger in there and made some fingerprints. Here's some examples of other ones that I've made, and there are some of the skins. Uh, and the actual latex is this stuff. Again, you can get it at a craft store, and it's just liquid latex rubber. So I'm just brushing that on, making a very thin layer, uh, as you can see on this side, and pull it off. And as you'll see in the subsequent video, you're able to get past the uh, Touch ID fingerprint scanner. Thanks.